Thanks for joining us today to learn about Einstein Complete the Set. By the end of this video, you'll be able to explain how Einstein Complete the Set works, implement Complete the Set, and apply best practices for adopting Complete the Set. Let's start with the first objective. How does Einstein Complete the Set work? When you last bought clothing online, did the website recommend products that would go together with your purchase to make a fabulous outfit? This group of recommended products based on your selected product is known as a set. Let's see what this looks like. We'll navigate to a commerce site and select an item we're interested in. If we scroll down, we'll see a section that says, Complete your look. These items have been designated as a set. In fact, when we click into one of the recommended items and scroll down, we can see the polo shirt we originally selected included in this grouping as well. This is what a set looks like. In the past, sets would be configured manually by an administrator. Now you have Einstein Complete the Set, a B2C commerce feature that reviews shopping behavior and product attributes to understand which items are purchased together most often. It then applies intelligence around product categories to automatically create sets for your e-commerce customers in an efficient, scalable way. Complete the Set is always evolving and expanding. Currently, you can use it to recommend apparel products, beauty, home furnishing, sports, fitness, and gym equipment products, and health, party, and office supply products. Sites in all languages and geographical locations are supported, and set recommendations are updated by Einstein daily. Obviously, this is going to cut down the time you spend creating sets, but it can also increase the average order value, AOV, improve shopper satisfaction by displaying products that appeal to their tastes, and enhance merchandiser productivity. Sets are generated using a two-step process. First, the recommender processes product names, descriptions, categories, and images to analyze your catalog. It uses machine learning, categorization rules, predefined categories, and labels to build an internal categorization structure. Once products are categorized and rules determined, the recommender uses past purchases and add-to-basket activities to discover patterns of products that have been purchased together. These algorithms are used to select and prioritize the best products to include in sets for an anchor product, which is the original product based on its product ID. The recommender also ensures sets are diversified across different products. For new products, or for products with few activities, the recommender suggests sets used by the closest matching products with already established recommendations. Now let's learn how to create and implement complete the set recommenders using the Einstein configurator tool in three easy steps, creation, placement, and content slots. Before you start, your catalog and order feeds for your site should already be configured, and you must have permissions to use the Einstein configurator tool. Also, ensure you have one or more content slots available for the recommendation in the Business Manager. The first step is to create and configure the recommender. In a browser, open Einstein Configurator and log in. From the Select Site list, select your site. Then, from the Site Recommendations, select New Recommender. In the Create New Recommender dialog, select Complete the Set. Type a name in the Recommender Name field. We suggest including the name of the page where you plan to apply the recommender as part of the recommender name. You can't change the name once you've created the recommender, so check it before selecting OK. Now use Einstein Configurator to configure your recommender. The Site Recommendations workspace has four different configuration sub-tabs, General, Strategies, Rules, and Preview. Remember to save any information you add or change before switching tabs. Let's take a closer look at each tab. The general tab of the recommender configuration contains details such as the maximum number of recommendations. If the recommender will wait before recommending previously purchased products and up to two products that you want to pin to the recommender. Depending on your setup, the entity type for the recommendation may be base product or variation group. A variation group is a product type that represents a subset of variation products that are part of a base product. These variations can include color, size, or width. The Strategies tab displays a ranked list of strategies. 
with the highest priority strategy at the top. The primary strategy used by Complete the Set recommenders is always Complete the Set. Select the Rules tab to add rules that will manipulate the list of recommended product IDs before the list is passed to the storefront. Each rule contains an action, a field, and one or more field values or attributes. Before deploying sets created by Einstein, it's a good idea to review them by category on the Review Sets tab. On the Review the Sets tab, you can Review and Search Sets by Category, View some statistics about the sets, Disable sets for certain categories, access the troubleshooting guide, and review the next step. Next, let's review where to use Complete the Set. Now let's look at placement. Consider adding Complete the Set as an additional recommender for your product detail, cart, or purchase complete pages, so customers have multiple recommendation options. Note that when creating recommendations, Complete the Set requires that a primary or anchor product shows its identifier, such as its product ID, in its anchor field. If there is no identifier, the set will not generate. Step 3. Content Slots Your Salesforce developers have created B2B commerce templates for you, like the one shown here, which define how data and page information is transformed into dynamic HTML-based web pages on your site. A content slot is a specific location on the web page as defined in a template, identifying what displays in the location, when, and for how long. Product recommendations are displayed using content slots and may be embedded in any part of your site. Common labels for these slots include Complete the Look, Shop the Look, Goes Great With, and Style With. To view, create, or amend content slot configurations, from Business Manager, select your site, go to Merchant Tools, then Online Marketing, and finally Content Slots. Search for a slot by entering a slot ID, slot description, category ID, category name, folder ID, or folder name in the search field. The search is not case sensitive, and it supports asterisk wildcards. Select Advanced to filter your search by scheduled date and time. Customer Groups or active-inactive status. Select the hyperlinked slot name to view the list of slot configurations defined for that slot, or the preview icon to view the slot in the storefront. On the Slot Configurations page, select the Slot Configuration name link to view details about that configuration. Specify up to 20 products per content slot. Want to copy a slot configuration? From the Content Slots page, select a global slot ID, or expand a category or folder tree, then select a category or folder slot ID link. Then on the Slot Configurations page, select the configuration you want to copy and select Copy. If you want to copy the configuration to the same slot, choose Select Current Slot, and the current slot appears as selected in the tree. Otherwise, choose the slot you want to copy to using the tree. Select Apply. The new slot configurations are created in the target content slots. They're named copied from slot config name copied to content slot name. To create a new slot configuration, click new at the bottom of the slot configuration section, then define the configuration. It's best practice to select a content slot that has a global context. Set the content type field to recommendation. Select a value for the recommender field. Select a suitable rendering template located in the Slots Recommendation folder. You're nearly done with slot configuration. Schedule the slot configuration by selecting Add Schedule, then select a schedule type. When setting the schedule, allow for time zones, and note that slot intervals must be one hour or more. Assign the customer groups using the configuration. Click in the Rank column to assign a rank to tell B2C Commerce which slot to display when you've scheduled multiple slot configurations. The lower the rank, the higher the priority. When you're done, select Apply to save your changes. Finally, let's review best practices for adopting Complete the Set. As mentioned earlier, you must create a new content slot and identify an anchor product to create recommendations with Complete the Set. You create and manage content slots in Business Manager. Also, 
complete the set can be turned off by category. For categories not listed in the verticals, no sets should be recommended. In some cases, the algorithm may make a mistake, causing you to see sets for products in other categories. Preview sets before going live with them. Sets cannot be edited. If you don't like how a set looks, contact Salesforce customer support. We can work with you to understand your products and create better quality sets. If your site has low purchase volume, it's likely not an ideal candidate for complete the set. When catalogs include apparel unique products that are difficult to recognize, Einstein can have trouble classifying them for set creation. If this is the case for you, contact Salesforce customer support. To test complete the set for your site, we recommend that you set up complete the set recommendations as an A-B test against a recommender with a buy-to-buy -buy strategy. This strategy most closely matches the use case for complete the set and will produce the most relevant results. Add a content slot on your site and create an A-B test for 50% of your site traffic. Want to keep learning? Sign up for Einstein product recommendations for Commerce Cloud on Trailhead. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.